Kellogg's low fat granola has half the fat and all those Woodstock 94. Foreign cars aren't foreign to my What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another video. Glad to have you here. Be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. So I know we've done quite a bit of little modifications to the intake on the GTI and today we are pretty much changing up most of that except for the air intake ducts that we've done recently. I was cruising around on eBay, just every so often I like to look to see if anything interesting pops up and I found something that I couldn't pass up. I found this used in-gen intake for the Mark 7 GTI. It's a really good deal. It was about half the price it normally would be new and I figured I'd just go for it, pick it up. It came in the mail today. It is pretty good construction. Comes with everything except the little vibration uh, mount right here, but the previous owner said that that wasn't a big deal. Comes with our secondary air injection port, um, heat shield, and a filter, which looks uh, marginally clean, so that should be fine. I can clean that later if I need to. And comes with clamp and other stuff there. So it should be a pretty easy install. I've done a lot of intakes in the past before and they're usually pretty easy. So let's just get started throwing this on and then we're gonna see how it sounds. One thing before we get this video going is I've already taken out all the old stuff. I was hoping to get this intake a while ago but USPS took forever. Um, one thing that I did throw in was, I, I don't know why I ordered it, I guess I was itching to spend some money but I ordered a uh, silicone turbo muffler outlet and I do have some cool things coming in the mail for the Mark 7. I have the charge pipe um, kit coming in for the intercooler and also a down pipe finally. So those will be videos coming in the later days. But this video isn't about future modifications. It is about what we are installing today, which is the in-gen short ram intake. So let's get started. So our intake is initially in, everything is tightened down. Um, I did end up making like a little spacer here so it won't flop around at all anymore and it's, it'll just move with the engine so it should be fine but I'll keep an eye on it. Um, otherwise now we need to take our stock airbox stuff, well at least half of it, set it up in here and then we should be good to hear what it sounds like. Guys, and here we are. So our little air ducts will still work to divert air into the air box or heat shield and get into our filter. So everything is in, it looks cool, looks nice. Short ram intakes always look really cool. So happy with the way it looks at least. So now just gotta start the car up, see how she sounds. Hopefully we hear some more turbo noises and uh, don't think we're gonna get like a ton of power or anything out of this since it's mainly kind of for sound and for fun, but let's just see how it sounds. So that sounded super cool. Really happy with the way that it turned out. You can definitely, definitely hear the turbo a lot better now. I'm not gonna take it around the block because it's too hard to get the sounds on this microphone from in-car. Um, what you heard is what it sounds like driving and it sounds awesome. So super excited with how that turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure you stay tuned for our upcoming videos. 
the charge pipe and the down pipe and really looking forward to how this car is turning out. So thanks so much for sticking around. Be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.